Hi everybody, I'm at Creature's house today. We're near to Whiterun, that's Elysium Estate over there. And this place was recommended to me by Evelyn. And I thought I'd come along and have a look at it because I'd never heard of it before. I'll show you where we are. Right here, Creature's house. It's near to Whiterun and the stables. And I've got quite a few mods around here, as you can see. Elysium Estate, Whiterun Manor, a place to stay, Arcadia's farm, Draven Manor. Ooh, it's popular mod country. And so I downloaded it, and when I got here, I nearly had a heart attack. Because the first thing that I saw was this guy. So I immediately drew my bow. <laughs> and then I realised he's actually, well, you know, not necessarily friendly, but he wasn't going to attack me. Look at the state of those claws. So that gives you a bit of an idea about what you're in for. This curious little hobbit home where they live <laughs> and the creatures themselves there's such a random selection some that belong in Skyrim some that definitely don't but hey this dude <laughs> you can ride and in fact you can with several of them how ridiculous do I look? In EQ2, they bought out some weird flying insect a few years ago. Never liked it, but that's just because, you know, I'm not that fond of insects <laughs> generally. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I'd rather ride a broomstick. So all around the outside, there are creatures that you can interact with. Yes. This one's a follower. Mm -hmm. Strange voice for a dwarven trooper. Mm -hmm. What a spot. The countryside around here is really beautiful. Alright then. No questions. No, no questions. Into the house, which has a really tiny front door. My cat's a bit big for that. But inside it's, you know, it's nice. I like the tiled floor very much. So it's not a player home. That's the first thing. And it's noisy as all get out in here. What is that thing? Very random. And all you can hear are the sounds of the creatures that are in here. A tiny little fox. He's so cute. I think if you were going to have a creature's house, it would have been more appropriate or, you know, I would have liked there to have been a creature garden. You know what I mean? Rather than seeing these creatures in this home. But it's full of groovy things. They keep pushing me around. <laughs> There are all of these, every room has these little jars, spriggan in a jar, that you can pick up and take away with you to redecorate elsewhere. Deer in a jar. Seriously, guys. <laughs> and there are also, in every room, spell tomes. Snow dragon sounds cool. Flying shoggoth, whatever one of those is. I'm sure somebody will tell me. Bunny doesn't seem to mind. He's very cool about it. <laughs> I can't get out the room. <laughs> Here we go. And then here's your dwarven section. There's a centurion. A little doggy. A sphere, a worm, which is very random, and a horse. She's kind of cute. Reminds me of K9 from Doctor Who about a million years ago. <laughs> More like a big dog, really, isn't it? And some more things in jars. 
There's the odd nice bit of decoration around here as well to break it up and make it a bit more interesting. Now she is cool, look at her. You're someone who can get things done. I like that. <laughs> what the hell with that voice coming out of that though? That is very odd. And then finally this room. A dwarven big dog who seems to Where's his head? That is odd. More jars. And then all of these spells. Swamp Dragon, Spectral Storm Dragon, Soul Wisp, Pazuzu, whatever one of those is. Nerthus, Red Dragon. It's a bit of fun, isn't it, this mod? You can pick up all these spells and you can see there are multiple spells. Storm Spirit. A Dwarven Eyebot. The first time I saw that I thought it said Eyeball. <laughs> so yeah, there's there's a whole lot of fun to be had with this. And you can fly. Divine smile on you, friend. Oh hi. Look at the side look at his mm, weapon. What is that enormous thing on your back, sir? <laughs> I like his cloak. Look at that. That is excellent. What do you need? Well, you won't spend a great deal of time in here because it's that noisy. It reminds me of that pet's mansion. Quite like these tigers, though. They are very sweet. And a unicorn. That is a tiny little unicorn. And if you've got SKSE installed, uh, you can fly these things actually proper flying through the air. If you don't have it, then uh, you kind of fly along the ground. Oh, he's very handsome. Very handsome. So, multiple spells, a lot of fun to be had with this. Need something. <laughs> right in my ear as I come out the door. He <laughs> sounded so creepy then. All right, I'm going to leave you with a view of the property. I'm going to call it property rather than home because it isn't a home. Uh, but I thought you just might like to see this little place. Thanks, Evelyn, for uh, pointing me in this direction. And uh, thank you guys for watching and for all your comments, which I'm saying a lot lately because I really do appreciate your comments. I like to read them. It motivates me. It makes me keep producing more content and, uh, and I'm having fun with it. So I hope you are too. And I will see you soon for the next one.